Ah, the 80s. But it wasn't all yuppies and dodgy fashion sense, you know. And seeing as you all enjoyed the A to Z of 80s sitcoms you probably forgot about, here's another 10 80s sitcoms you probably forgot about. Number one, The Other Half, ITV 1980 to 1984. Lorraine Chase plays Lorraine Watts, a fashion model who gets into a relationship with a conservative politician, Charles Latimer, in this Odd Couple sitcom. Have you been here since tea time? Where have you been all tarted up like that? I've been to the chip shop. Like that? <laughs> number two, all at number 20, ITV, 1986-1987. Maureen Lipman played Sheila Haddon, whose husband has passed away, but didn't have life insurance, so she takes in lodgers to help pay the remainder of her mortgage. That's a very devious thing to do, Monica. Really sneaky and underhand. Well done. Oh, there's no way we can hide that rising damp in the basement. Oh, don't be such a defeatist. Number three, Bless Me Father, ITV, 1978 to 1981. Arthur Lowe plays Father Charles Clement Duddleswell, an Irish Catholic priest in the parish of St Jude's. He's a bit of an eccentric and not at all what the new priest Neil Boyd imagined. You'll need six guardian angels. <laughs> Number four, Colin Sandwich, BBC Two, 1988 to 1990. Mel Smith starred as Colin Watkins, who was a British rail administrator who wanted to be a horror writer. His boring day job of dealing with customer complaints gets in the way of his aspirations and he frequently becomes down about it. I suppose we can all relate to that. It is so dry and the place is riddled with tourists. Oh, belt up. <laughs> Number five, Filthy Rich and Cat Flap, BBC Two, 1987. A short-lived show, this starred Nigel Planer, Rick Mayle and Ed Edmondson. Nigel plays Ralph, a showbiz agent. Rick played Richie, real name Gertrude, who was a go-nowhere comedian, and Aid Edmondson played Edward Didgeridoo Catflap, a sort of minder for Richie. It was absolutely bonkers. I am only 14 years old! <laughs> Make me your ward. Bring me up as your own, and in time we shall learn to love each other. Number six, No Problem, Channel 4, 1983 to 1985. Here we meet the Powell family in their council house in Willesden Green, London. It was created by the Black Theatre Cooperative and it was the first sitcom to be aired on Channel 4. And what do you think you're playing at? Playing? Have you ever heard of spin the bottle? Well, this is poor the bottle. Well, not this <laughs> Number 7, It Takes a Worried Man, ITV for the first two series and then Channel 4 for the last, 1981 to 1983. Peter Tilbury plays Philip Roth, a guy who's having a bit of a midlife crisis. Fed up with his job and divorced already, Philip is under the care of a psychoanalyst who happens to have worse problems than him. My armpits are going grey. I'm shabby. I'm moth-eaten. My teeth are down to single figures. Number 8, Mog, 1985 to 1986 on ITV. This starred N. Rytel as Mog. Now he was the voice of Doc Croc in Round the Bend, if you remember that one. Well, Mog was about a sneak thief who ended up living in a mental institution after he decided to fake insanity so that he could go into hiding from the law. Number 9, Sob Sisters. Gwen Taylor and Polly Adams star as the Sob Sisters and this was 1989 on ITV. It's another one where we have a widow making the best of it. The two sisters are absolutely chalk and cheese but following the death of one of their husbands they decide to move in together in this odd couple comedy. And number 10, Surgical Spirit, ITV 1989 to 1995. It had a theme tune that was a mix between Faulty Towers and Waiting for God. It starred Nicola McAuliffe, and I remember thinking she looked just like the caricature of Paul Eddington in Yes Minister. 
Surgical Spirit was a sitcom, if you can call it that, focused on McAuliffe's character Sheila Sabatini, who was this supposedly fearsome surgeon with a wicked trade in one-liners and comebacks. Mr. Now, I must say, what a pleasure it is to see you upright. One always gets so nervous you may be flambéed someday by an unguarded electrical spark. And there you have it. Another 10 80s sitcoms you probably forgot about. Did I forget one? Let me know in the comments below. And please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and all that good stuff. Bye for now.